Hi, we're at our Life Studio and we're back fixing our wardrobe with DIY design. Today we're upcycling a skirt and resizing it with open lacing for a better fit. This style is inspired by some of our favorite 90s runway looks and recent pieces by Proenza, McQueen, Charlotte Knowles, David Coma, and so many more. This is a simple way to not only update the look of literally any piece, but fix the fit whether it's too tight or too loose. For this project, you'll need grommet trim, lacing, scissors, thread, pins, and measuring tape. You can do this by hand as well. We are using a sewing machine. So for this piece, I am flipping it backwards and using the back slit as the placing for the lacing and moving that to the front. I'm starting by measuring my trim. I'm just eyeballing it and adding a pin where I'm cutting to not lose my place. I'm then lining it up with the rest of the trim and cutting to size. I do suggest using a measuring tape for this part since these need to match perfectly. I love this trim because it has these sewing allowances that give your piece a more finished look and is just overall easier to use. You can also just use individual grommets with a setting tool. You will need two equal pieces of the trim for each side. It's super important to make sure the placement of your grommets match up so your lacing is neat, balanced, and functional. Now I'm cutting up the slit of the skirt using the rib to guide me. Before I do anything else, I'm pinning the elastic on either side of the waistband so it doesn't slip from its casing, and I can easily sew it into the grommet trim without losing it. Because I'm sandwiching the raw edges in between the grommet trim, I'm not going to finish the edge but if you're less lazy or using an individual grommet and tool, you can finish the edge with a zigzag stitch or serge it. This is your piece, so it's up to you. As I'm lining up the cut edge inside the trim, I'm pinning it in place so the raw edge is centered and doesn't slip out as I'm sewing, and it doesn't drive me insane. This will really help speed up your sewing, so I highly recommend not skipping this step. Now we can start sewing, and as you can see, my back stitch isn't working for some cursed reason, so I'm going in and ham tacking the edge to secure it once I'm done. I'll continue this same attachment on the other side. Again, you can also hand sew here, it's up to you. trim is sewn in place, I'm adding my lacing. My camera work was not the best in this video. I kind of got immersed in this piece, so I lost sight of my marks. Sorry about the shots, but we're basically lacing a shoe here. Anyway, this part takes a while if you're not using the right size of lacing. So you want to make sure the inside diameter of your grommet is about 1 8 of an inch larger than your lacing or cording. So it's easier to adjust as you wear it and easier to put through the grommet. You're going to want to use a cord or lacing that's three to four times as long as the length of your lacing area. Unfortunately, the spaghetti cord I have is slightly too big, which makes it hard to lace through. And I really want to use what I already have. So I'm just going to make it work and use round nose pliers to help make it fit. And after about an hour of shoving the spaghetti cord through, we have a laced piece. I would definitely use a thinner and longer cord next time, and I might even replace it, but for now I love it and I can't wait to wear it all summer. It's such a great way to resize any ill-fitting pieces and even just update anything that's a bit unexciting in your wardrobe. 
we hope this helped you reimagine some pieces you may no longer want to wear or that no longer fit and to give them another chance to shine. Thank you so much for watching and tag us if you try this out. We'd love to see it.